Okay guys, welcome to my channel, Healthy and Holy. I'm Rachel and I'm gonna be making videos to teach and equip you to live healthy, whole, and holy unto God's glory. Okay, so confession time, right off the bat. I said this is my first YouTube video. I said my Instagram is my first YouTube video and it's not. Really, Rachel? <laughs> it's actually video numero dos. My first YouTube video, well, I never actually uploaded it. I recorded one yesterday and decided that it was not the best representation of myself. I do not want to give you guys the best version of myself. I want to give you the best representation of myself. So here I am, take two, um, semi-wet hair and not dressed as nice because I just want you to get me. As I said, my name is Rachel. I'm super excited to um, go on this journey with you guys. My passion is healthy living. Um, and according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, healthy living is um, not just a number in your genes. It's not a number you find on a scale or a BMI. It is physical, mental, and emotional well-being. So it is a holistic idea of um, balance in all areas of our lives and as Christians we are called to live our lives um, not just sacred and have a sacred and a secular but all of our lives should be submitted to the Lord and so my anthem verse really for this whole idea is something you probably heard but it's 1st Corinthians 6 19 through 20 and so I'm going to read it to you um, if it says this let me to the right page or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So my passion and my desire for you is um, for you to be encouraged to live a healthy lifestyle that's physical, mental, emotional, all unto the glory of God. And so um, just like Paul says, whether you eat or drink or anything you do, um, do it um, unto the glory of God. And so um, that's my hope that you'll be encouraged to do that through this channel. So as I said, my name's Rachel. In this video, I'm going to first introduce myself, um, kind of give you what to expect, and then a little devotional that the Lord put on my heart um, yeah. yesterday. I just introduced my three points. Um, Dr. Shores would be proud. Shout out to my Calm 130 people. You know who you are. Miss you guys. First off, I am a junior at a university in Central Kentucky. But through and through, I'm a Texas girl. I'm from South Texas, um, which is where I am right now, considering um, all the COVID-19 um, quarantine and lockdown and school um, shutdowns are like going online. So I am home now, but um, Kentucky holds a really, really dear place in my heart. Um, I love my church family there. Um, they are so special to me um and that is my community also all the lifelong friends the lord's given me there at school have been such gifts to me and um i would not trade my experience at um that my school for anything the lord's done so much and i'm so excited to go back in the fall but for the time being i'm thankful that i'm home that i get this time with my family um, it may be the last time we're all under the same roof. Um, my brother is a senior in high school, and so um, we are moving on up in the world. And it is exciting to watch, but worth treasuring every moment. So a little bit about me. I am, I've been an athlete most of my life. I played two years um, of Two years of my college experience was playing basketball, um, but that is just a snippet of the full 13 years that I've been playing basketball. Um, this is the first year I did not play, which is a big deal. Um, the Lord spoke to me and said, I have other things for you and I need you to let this go. And so um, when he speaks, my job is to be obedient um, like Mary. And so that's what I did. and. Let me tell you, the Lord 
makes good on his promises. Um, he had so much for me this year. Like I can't even recount everything. And I didn't even get to finish the year there. Um, so I was super involved in resident life there on campus. Also a um, global mission organization called the World Gospel Mission had a student center there on campus that I was um, really involved in. And so both those things and so much more um, blessed me deeply um, while I was at school and I'm excited to go back and to um, serve in some slightly different capacities and um, some the same and um, just be blessed and also bless others um, through those roles. I am a biology pre-med major um, and then a minor in business. Yes, those are two very different things. <laughs> um, but the passion the Lord has given me and the vision um, that he has given me is to eventually build a business that teaches and equips people to live a healthy lifestyle. So obviously this is step one um, that he's put on my heart just to um, do right now. And um, I plan on taking a gap year after I graduate and going to osteopathic school. Um, it is a holistic approach to meds, um, to medicine. And so um, instead of allopathic medicine, which is your typical MD, it is um, osteopathic medicine um, where you would get a DO, a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Um, so that is the plan I hold is open hands that the Lord's given me right now. But currently, I am a personal trainer in training, so I'm working on my personal training certification and I'm really excited to um, serve you guys in that capacity and to see what the Lord does with that eventually, so stay tuned. I think that's all about me right now. I'm sure more will come up. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them. Second thing is um, what to expect from this channel, from my Instagram. Um, so first off, if you're not following my Instagram, it's healthy and holy. Um, I'll link it down below. And um, on there, you can expect um, Meet Him Mondays. And so on Mondays, I'm going to give a um, share a post that just um, start your week off with something to chew on, something encouraging, um, something that... Uh, can challenge you so whatever the Lord puts on my heart that's what it's gonna be um, so be on the lookout for that and then Wednesday workouts are gonna be um, posted I have one from last week so go check it out it's just a sample workout for you to um, do and I even um, shared some stretches you can do um, the next day on my story so um, if you are um, don't know where to start uh, with working out, especially since we're all home right now, and or at least most of us are home, um, and I just want to give a quick side note for those of you who are on the front lines of this, um, nurses, doctors, um, engineers, construction, all those things, um, we, well, I bless you and I thank you for your service um, in dealing with this COVID-19 um, pandemic. So. Um, we thank you for your service and that. Um, but if you are home and you'd like to work out, then um, there's a great place to start. And if you need more resources, I can connect you to um, lots of resources that I have on hand, um, give you more tips, more um, workouts. So just um, let me know and uh, DM me, um, comment below, and um, I can definitely connect you to those things and give you those tips. Um, then the third thing is filmed Fridays, which is what this is. So I'll drop a YouTube video every Friday at 4 p.m. Central Time um, just to have more face-to-face -face, um, interaction, to answer some more specific questions you guys may have, um, to share a little bit longer on <laughs> what the Lord's put on my heart. And so I'm excited about those. Subscribe, um, put your notification bell on, and um, so you don't miss those. Okay, so now for um, the devotional that the Lord put on my heart. First Corinthians 3, um, I was reading the other day and uh, the Lord just started speaking to me about um, the times we're living in. Right now we are going through um, the changes, the social distancing of COVID-19 and it can be um, scary, it can be um, just 
lots of unexpected things going on right now and um, we're all adjusting to a new normal at least for the time being and it's challenged us it's challenged me personally and so when I read this what Paul says um, in first Corinthians 3 I just really felt the Lord was speaking about the times so I'm actually just gonna read you first Corinthians 3 um, 19 I think 11 through 15 and I want um, and then I'll just give my little tidbit on it so it says for no one can lay any foundation other than the one we already have Jesus Christ anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials gold silver jewels wood hay or straw but on the judgment day, fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. The fire will show if a person's work has any value. If the work survives, that builder will receive a reward. But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer great loss. The builder will be saved, but like someone barely escaping through a wall of flames. What the Lord was speaking to me through this was that um, our foundations are being shaken and they are being tested um the things that we put value in the things that we have um deemed as our foundation they are being they're going through refiner's fire right now um so if your job is what you deem as your foundation that is going through fire right now because there's so uh, much unemployment or working from home or uncertainty. Where are we putting our value in? Where are we putting our security in? One of the biggest ones, um, especially coming from like an athlete family and my brother's a football player. So one thing that has been big is the gyms closing down. It is a test really why are we why do you work out why do you um go to the gym is it so other people can see how much you're lifting or how much uh, how good you look or um, how in shape you are or is it to um glorify god by taking care of our bodies or to um, keep our temples in good condition and so it's a really a test it's a question of like where is my um, value where am i putting my treasure in for me um school is a huge thing um a huge a thing that I take pride in that I love and um, my job as a resident assistant this year has been such a gift and I've loved every minute of it but in one day really um, in like 24 hour span it was taken away um, and that I really had to give that to the Lord and say God was that was I putting my treasure in a gift that you gave me to steward or um, was it all in submission to you and so I had to lay that before the Lord and um, allow him just to speak um, into that and remind me that he is a God who um, gives and takes away that he is a God who um, who loves so deeply and does not withhold good things from his children and so he has other things for me like that wasn't all that's not it that's not the end of the line that there are other things in the coming days in the coming years um, that he has for me that I get to serve in and so um, I can appreciate the time I had as a resident assistant but look forward to um, the other things that he's given me for next year so in the same way I challenge you what are the things that are, um, are hurting right now because they're gone is it the fact that you can't see your friends face to face um, maybe it's a significant other that um, you've put value in um, in being with them or being seen with them um, is that where your um, treasure is and is that going through fire so um, I just encourage you to lay those things before the Lord and say, God, um, take this. This isn't mine. This is yours. All good things come from you and you are a provider. You are Jehovah Jireh. And so I'm going to trust you in this. Um, so if you have any um, insight or maybe you have um, a testimony of how the Lord has um, refined you through this time, please um, share that comment below. DM me for questions, um, comment below for um, 
things you may want to hear in the future or um, questions you may have and make sure you subscribe. I'm super excited about this journey with you guys and um, the things that the Lord's going to do through this platform. So with that, I will see you next time. Um, go living healthy, whole, and holy unto God's glory.